Good morning. Saturday morning. And it's actually not too bad out. It's supposed to rain off and on all day today. Look at this. Just keeps going and keeps going. I've got my <clears throat> thornless blackberries that still need to be planted. A few things for Mary. And here is the new starts that we've put into the new tower and I've got to plant 11 more. I think I'm going to do mostly, hmm, oh, there's one pea right there. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to do all greens. There's the new bird boxes that Dan put up. We were going to take that other one down, <laughs> which was kind of a makeshift one. But when we looked in, there were eggs in it. And Mama came back soon. We thought it had kind of been abandoned, but that's not the case. So we're going to leave that one up there for now. And there's our bee boxes that the newts came in. And we've got to store those away until next year. And here is a beautiful wisteria that I'm thinking I'm going to plant here. So it'll go up this telephone pole and kind of into the, around the birdhouses up there. Can you hear the birds? Oh, there's some that just came out of... We've got a couple of different kinds. The, there's the barn swallows that do the a mud nest. And then there are the tree swallows that go into these nests. Okay, we will continue on here. And these are... This is our little berry orchard. So we've got two long rows of strawberries. These are the strawberries that I ordered earlier in the year that just came. And then those are all the strawberries that I got from our very generous neighbor down the road. Because he's redoing his. And then these are, <clears throat> these are the raspberries that I ordered that just came in. And then I've also got another raspberry from a, a neighbor, a close neighbor, who gave me one. And then these are all the raspberry canes that I got from the same farmer, Farmer Andrew, because he's going to be running those ones over soon. I even had a few left over, but I'm not sure I'm going to get Dan to do, to do another trench. <laughs> and the hives seem to be doing really well. So let me put that on bucket of compost and my coffee in my hand. Ah, don't tip over. Let's have a little look. Kind of quiet this morning, but it is cooler. Oh, there's lots of activity going on in there. Why am I whispering? <laughs> so they seem to be doing just fine. Yep. Hi, bees. Good morning, bees. And there's the little hole that they can get in and out of. Oh, I know what's the matter with that one. Got it tipped the wrong way. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Okay, now we've got some good news on the elderberry front. The ones that I didn't mow over are sprouting. But. Look at this one. This one actually has a sprout coming up from under the ground as well. And so do some of the ones that I actually mowed over. So I think these guys are going to do just fine. <clears throat> I, my plan is to actually move these though. I just don't think this is the best location. So I think we're going to put them over there somewhere. We'll get that figured out here. But that's good news that I didn't kill them. I had actually sent an email to the company that I bought them from to see if they had any replacements. And they said, don't worry about it too much, that they were sure that they would come up from the roots. That's good news. Okay, main garden bed. We still have a couple of rows to get put in. The potatoes seem to be doing good. I'm going to cover them with a little bit more, I think. don't know that it'll make a difference, but we shall see. So I've got a couple more rows to put in here. We've got broccolis doing well. Beans are not coming up yet. Got a couple of different varieties of bush beans here. We've got some Chinese cabbage here. Regular ball cabbage down there. A 
I've got to figure out where. I know I planted nasturtiums somewhere. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wait till those come up. Got lots more marigolds to go in. This is my pole beans. And nothing coming up there yet. And down here we've got... I haven't planted anything here because I'm doing succession planting. These are a bunch of marigolds that I grew from seed. Here we've got some broad beans. Nothing coming up there yet. And here we've got some small sweet pumpkins that are not coming up yet either. But I would expect that those will start coming up anytime. We got more <clears throat> wood chips put down in front of here, which is great because it cleans this right up. And, oh, this is doing well this morning. Inside the little hoop house, it is almost 20 degrees and it's about... I think it's about nine o'clock and things seem to be doing pretty good. I've still got tomato plants that I've got to find homes for, but look at the tumbler tomatoes. are getting tons of flowers on them. I can't remember what, how I put these in. I think these are Brad's Atomics, which is a great tomato. And then I've got, which ones are these? Ooh, hmm, I can't remember right now. I think the old Germans are here and some Bonnie Best things are really starting to perk up now. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, Roma pastas. I did extras of those because those would be great for canning. And then I've got my Joan Flam that I grew 72 of. I only kept four. <laughs> so those would be wonderful. And over there I've got some sun golds some brandy wines and some beef steak and everything really seems to be perking up quite nicely now and then a few different varieties of cucumbers that I transplanted just a few days ago some of them are doing really good I've got a couple that didn't make it that I didn't think they would they were pretty small so that's not going to do anything uh, but these ones are actually doing much better than I thought they were going to. And I put some extra seed in here as well, just in case there was one that didn't make it here. So we'll have some more of those hopefully coming up. And uh, I've still got room for a bit more. Oh, butterfly. One of the swallowtails is still in here. Hasn't made its way out. So things are doing good in here. I've got some... Unfortunately, oh, and then another tray of just some beautiful tomato seedlings. I'm going to plant a couple of these as well. Get the off of here. Unfortunately, when it, <laughs> when this flew, it bent it a little bit. Oh, one of my bees is in here. Looks like we got quite a bit of rain last night. Um, Off. And oh, I see Gus. <laughs> Gus, stay out of the garden. Okay. Oh my goodness. Lots of peas coming up now. Yay. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh my goodness. Wow, you guys did lots during the night. These were not all up last night before I went to bed. So I've got four different varieties. I've done a half row of each, or half section of each of those here. And they are just coming up like crazy. And these ones as well. I've done a combination of uh, shelling peas and, um, oh, there were a couple of hummingbirds. Uh, what are the other ones? Snow peas. And look how nicely the celery is doing. Very pleased with the celery. Uh, I put some extra zucchinis here because I had room. I'm pretty sure I've got nasturtium planted here, but I'm not seeing anything come up yet. A little bit of corn that a neighbor gave us. And here I'm doing a whole bed of a couple of different varieties of sunflower. But not seeing, oh, is that something? No. Oh, is that something? No. <laughs> Ah, did we get tempted to? Is that something? No. <laughs> to move the soil to see 
how things are doing, so I'm not going to. And the peony that a neighbor gave me is doing really nicely here as well. Here's the uh, little tow trailer that we got the other day. Dan put that together for me yesterday. It is wonderful. Loving that. Okay, time to let the chicks out. Be quiet until we get up there. I don't hear them making any noise. Maggie. She's going to have to get a little eat. Watch what happens when I start singing to them. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready to get up? Good morning to you. A good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Come on. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, ladies. You want me to put your ladder up? Oh, there you go. I got some treats for you today. Oh, what was that? Is that somebody trying to crow? Is that somebody trying to crow? Come on, ladies. And there is Miss Vanna. She spends her days hanging out in front of the feed. And that's pretty well all she does. Hang on, let me get this clipped up. Oh, I got too many things going on here. Come on, you guys. How's the water? Oh, you need more water. All right, we'll get that for you. Maggie. Give me a little. Give her a little vibrate to keep her away from here. Did I hear somebody trying to crow? Did I hear somebody trying to crow? Did I? Yeah, I'll give you guys a little bit of stuff here. Oh, there's some nice cabbage. They really like the purple stuff. Stand back, Maggie. go. Oh, <laughs> you don't need the paper towel. There you go. Hi. They are so adventurous now. <laughs> Maggie, no. Stand back. Oh, Gus, you're muddy already. What's everybody doing? Okay, chickens are happy. And now I've got a little bit more compost. We're trying compost again. So here it is. I just gotta put my coffee down. So Dan finished building this and moved it over here. Oh, look at the clematis. They're gorgeous. Those flowers last so long and it's been raining. So, trying this again. And <clears throat> our plan is to get... Somebody was telling me that if you put lime in, that it deters the bears. So, but I'm also going to be layering some of the uh, compost from over there and some wood chips as well so we'll keep that covered up so hopefully we'll have some of our own beautiful compost next year that's how much it's been raining but Dan got the grass cut again yesterday he's really trying to keep on top of that all right how are things going inside 
the greenhouse today. Oh, there's another hummingbird. Oh, it looks like I gotta fill those. Oh, get everything out of here. Damn, that's weed eating for me. Okay. Here we've got more tomatoes. These seedlings are just beautiful. These are something called um, <clears throat> Principe Bourget, I think is how you pronounce it. It's an Italian. And then these guys are just doing so well. This was a mystery. Not sure what they were. I still got some eggplant. I still got some cantaloupe. I'm not sure I'm going to get cantaloupe actually into the garden because I'm more concentrating on my watermelon and more. I got to do something with these tomatoes too. These are a stuffer tomato. I don't even know what I'm going to do with those. All right. Oh, we've got some more squash coming up because I've got room on my tower or not on the tower, but on the um, cattle panels outside. So I've got some more squash coming. Don't remember. Let's see. This one's an acorn squash. I can't remember what that one is. I've got some cauliflower coming up. This is some thyme. I've got to figure out where to put. These are some beautiful little mini peppers. I've got to do something with those. I've got some eggplant now transplanted into these bigger pots. I've got three of those. And radishes are actually starting to do something now. So I'm going to be able to harvest those. I think I'm going to start more radish because it's still it's it's still spring here, obviously, and it's it's been cooler. So I'm going to try another bit of radish outside. And look at all of the peppers. These peppers are going to live in here. So I've got five or six different varieties of peppers. These ones are a Caribbean pepper. These ones, oh, these ones are like a red bell pepper. And then I've got several different um, spicy varieties. I like to make my own dried uh, hot peppers and grind them. And then here's my little experiment with the cannabis that my brother's helping me with. So they're doing well. I'm trying to determine which if there's any boys. And I think I might have one male that needs to get destroyed. I think possibly this is a male. I'm going to have to ask him about that. So yeah, everything's doing really well in here. It's already 20 degrees in here. And lots of humidity. It was raining a lot last night. So fun when things come up, isn't it? And I've got to get some more peas actually going later as well. Okay. All right. Now outside up here, sweet peas are doing well. Spinach that I transplanted is doing well. I have to actually pick some of that and get that going. These are a couple of different varieties of scallions. I, I've still got, this is where I'm going to put the extra squash that I'm growing. I've got three panels that are available here. Nothing planted here yet. And I did some asparagus beans that can grow up this section, but I don't see anything. Nope, nothing happening there yet. Hopefully we'll get some warm weather and those will come up. <clears throat> My three different varieties of squash here are doing pretty good. I've got some butternut, I've got some heirloom, and I've also got Oh, I thought that was a slug, but it's not. Very few slugs, I have to say, coming from the coast. I've seen a few and I've destroyed them, but they're just little ones. Not that those can't do damage, but I haven't seen very many. And then I've got three delicatas here as well. And look at the onions. The onions are doing, the red onions are actually doing remarkably. The white onions are a little bit slower to come along, but the red onions are doing, this bed of onions is doing really nicely. I'm very happy about that. Then over here, I've got two varieties of kale that is due. It's loving this cool, wet weather. So those are doing great. I've got some scallopini squash here because I love those. Those are those little patty pans. And then more zucchinis. I've got a combination of green and yellow zucchinis. So there's a little garden update for today. My plan today is to get these boxes filled up and amended, and I'm going to be doing carrots and beets, some different root vegetables. I might try some daikon as well. I'm getting very few 
weeds in here so I'm pleased with these beds but I've got to get them ready to get planted oh good boy Gus he's going down the lines now <laughs> it's hard for them because things change every day <laughs> the rules change all right well have a great day and I'm sure I'll be talking to you soon